Greetings, brothers and sisters. This is Pastor Keith bringing you another relevant revelation by podcast to keep you enlightened and to keep you encouraged in your daily walk with Christ. This is 2014, and today's podcast is titled Christians Don't Belong in Bars. Today's podcast is titled Christians Don't Belong in Bars. Do you have an opinion about people who frequent bars and nightclubs? Are you someone that frequents bars and nightclubs? Are you a Christian who frequents bars and nightclubs? Or do you believe it's okay for Christians to frequent bars and nightclubs? There are several scriptures that deal with this issue without having to even give any sort of personal opinion. Here are three. Number one, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. That means expose them. You'll find that in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. You will find that in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. Number two, 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 11 says we are not to keep company with drunkards. 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 11 says we are not to keep company with drunkards. And number 3. The book of 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 7 says but the end of all things is at hand. The end of all things at hand. So be ye therefore sober so that you can watch and pray. The book of 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 7 says, But the end of all things is at hand, so be sober so that you can watch and pray. If you're a Christian and you've been going into bars and nightclubs for any other reason than to help witness to people who are inside, I highly suggest and encourage you to stop. If you're a Christian and you've been going into bars and nightclubs for any other reason than to help witness to people who are inside, I highly suggest and encourage you to stop. Why? It's very simple. Ask yourself this question. If Jesus returned to rapture the church and at the time he comes, you just happen to be inside a bar or nightclub with a drink in one hand, possibly a cigarette in the other, and you're intoxicated to the point that you're considering a one-night stand with someone you've just met, ask yourself this simple question. Do you think Jesus is going to wait for you to sober up so you can go to heaven? Do you think Jesus is going to wait for you to sober up just so you can go to heaven? I've been with my wife 30 years, and in the three decades we've been together, we've never, ever been inside a nightclub or a bar for any reason at all. I've been with my wife for 30 years, and in the three decades we've been together, we have never, ever been inside a bar or nightclub for any reason at all. In fact, Before getting married, I only stepped inside a bar or nightclub twice in my entire life as a patron. Even during my high school and college years, because I was the disc jockey for most of the house parties in my community, I avoided bars and nightclubs like the plague because I always believed there was nothing good inside. Yes, there are good people inside, but I would not want to put myself in a position of having to fight this battle with the devil, especially when I willingly enter into his den of darkness as someone in church leadership. I'm one that believes, and I'm one that knows from personal experience from my early premarital days that intoxication can lead to fornication. Again, I'm one that believes and knows from personal experience from my early premarital days 
that intoxication can lead to fornication. I'm one that also believes in supporting the many causes that exist because someone who left a bar or nightclub was irresponsible, got behind the wheel of a car, drove intoxicated, and ended up taking the life of someone else's child or spouse or sibling or parent. Christians don't belong in bars, and I've heard every argument to the contrary. I've heard arguments such as it's okay to just have a beer or two every now and then. After all, they serve it at that big historic church's block party. My response still won't change. Christians don't belong in bars. And then there's the argument that there's nothing wrong with social drinking as long as you act responsibly and have a designated driver. Even still, my response won't change. Christians don't belong in bars. And you could continue giving more reasons or coming up with more rationale and my response still wouldn't change. And at some point I would ask you whether or not you believe Jesus would join you for a drink inside that bar. Brothers and sisters, Christians don't belong in bars. This is Pastor Keith. And today's podcast is titled Christians Don't Belong in Bars. I'm bringing you another relevant revelation by podcast to keep you enlightened and to keep you encouraged in your daily walk with Christ. May God bless you and may he keep you today and always in Jesus' name. Amen.